So guys, um, here I have a chart and uh, I want to go over it very thoroughly because it's a very important chart that I have here. So I have a chart that's uh, overlay uh, with a lot of tickers. Well, not a lot, maybe uh, three tickers. So I have interest rates which is the blue uh, chart right here. And then I have oil and commodities. There is a very interesting thing that's happening here that you guys have to see. Um, so what I think possibly is going to happen is that the Fed is going to raise interest rates and that's going to cause bank crisis, meaning you're going to have what I mean by bad crisis you're going to have a, sp a spending crisis right when you have higher interest rates people don't spend you raise the rate what that does is it slower the consumption you can so basically if you raise a credit card rate to uh, um, let's say 5% right so if interest rate goes up and if the bank raises the credit you know, credit card rates to uh, 5% or so, what do you think people are going to do? Like, do you think people are going to spend less or more? People are going to spend less. If people spend less or even if people start paying off their debt, well, what that's going to do is banks are going to earn less and less, right? You pay off a debt, banks don't get any interest. And that's exactly what I think is going to happen because right now there are a lot of uh, deposits in the bank already, right, from retail uh, depositors. So they have money in the bank. So once the uh, uh, Fed started raising interest rates, people are going to take the money out of the bank and start paying off the credit cards. And that's going to have a spending effect, meaning like lower spending effect. Meaning people are going to pay off their credit cards and they're going to um, not spend, right? Not put like purchases on the credit card anymore. And since they already use the money in the bank to pay off their credit card, they're not going to go out there and spend. They're not going to have much money to spend after that. So I think that's when I, I, think, that, I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, previously, before you know, you, you, you see that. When interest rates goes up, you know, bank, banks goes up because they earn more interest rates and stuff. But this time around, when the interest rate goes up, they're gonna they're, that the interest rate is gonna suck up all the spending, and uh, and that spending it, that less spending is going to create a deflationary effect, and that's gonna put pressure on commodity prices. So. I think that's exactly what the Fed is going to do. You're going to see lower lower oil prices. And you see it right here. Uh, so so I do have an oil price uh, overlay on top of uh, the uh, banks. So the oil chart is the, the yellow one. As you can see, there's perfect correlation. Uh, ever since 2015 crisis, there's just, it just, it's, perfect correlation that's going on and and it's forming a megaphone pattern and megaphone patterns are very very re reliable and if you're, if you're if you're trying to chart long term and this is one of the the main reason why i've been saying is that if that does raise rates that's going to suck up all the um, liquidity from the retail uh, depositors they're gonna end up using their deposits to pay down the debt and when that happens you have deflation when the debt deflates right basically when the debt deflates meaning that the 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 amount of debt is shrinking when people pay off the debt the debt shrinks when the debt shrinks less spending occurs people just don't spend because it's a higher interest rates you, you have higher interest rates in car purchases uh, mortgages so you know house prices tend to go down um, commodity prices tend to go down because of less 
uh, less economic activity because of higher interest rates. And I think interest rates, that's why interest rates always have been one of the main keys. But I think that we are coming through to a point where where higher interest rate is not going to be profitable for banks because when this thing goes, uh, when the interest rate starts to goes up this time, the banks are going to get crushed and interest rates going to suck up all the liquidity, even from the commodities. So it's not going to happen the way that people think will happen. So be careful. Um, higher interest rates is not not going to be good for banks this time around and uh, you will see and as as you can see right here uh, you have higher interest rates and then the market finally realizes that hey uh, you know it's not good it's deflationary so so you see banks go down and oil go down the thing is that you only see these these flash like kind of like a, a, a correction is when the market finally realizes a true effect of uh, higher interest rates. So, yeah. Um, so uh, the Fed is going to come out with a statement tomorrow. So pay attention to it. If they do start raising rates, I think that's going to crush the uh, commodities commodities and uh, banks too as well so if you're into banks you want to be very careful here so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later peace